It's been traveling for nearly half a century, and now, Voyager's faint signal is still echoing across space, so powerful it could be detected from a light year away. But what's even more stunning is what it's still transmitting. That with today's tech, Earth-based observatories could detect these faint signals from nearly one light year away. This raises an intriguing question. If we can detect such weak transmissions, what does that say about Earth's signals reaching space? Join us as we dive into the implications of this discovery for SETI and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The discovery, led by Dr. Sophia Sheikh, focused on determining how far we could continue detecting the Voyager spacecraft using current Earth-based systems. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is now over 24 billion kilometers from Earth and still transmitting. Its signal is picked up by NASA's Deep Space Network, a global array of highly sensitive radio antennas. Despite the transmitter's low power output, researchers calculated that we could continue detecting Voyager's signal out to approximately 0.97 light years, or about 354 light days. This is a theoretical limit assuming the spacecraft continues transmitting and our detection technology remains as it is today. Reaching that distance would take Voyager 1 about 17,000 more years at its current speed of roughly 61,500 kilometers per hour. Of course, its power source, a nuclear battery, will cease functioning within the next few years. But the point isn't how far the craft will actually travel, but how far its signal could be detectable in principle. This kind of detection range offers a concrete example of how long artificial signals can remain traceable through space especially when supported by large coordinated antenna networks like the Deep Space Network. That's a practical, measurable example of what a low-power technosignature looks like from an Earth-level civilization. The Voyager spacecraft unintentionally have become benchmarks for understanding how faint, persistent signals propagate across interstellar space. Their longevity and simplicity provide a valuable analog for evaluating other potential artificial sources, whether from Earth or elsewhere. One promising avenue is through technosignatures, which are indicators of technology rather than biology. These could include targeted radio messages, atmospheric pollution, large-scale energy usage, or unintentional electromagnetic leakage. Dr. Shea's study doesn't attempt to detect alien technosignatures. Instead, it evaluates our own using Voyager's signal and Earth's deep space network as a case study. It frames a new question. If someone else had our level of technology, could they detect us the same way we detect Voyager? The answer is yes, and that expands our understanding of what makes a detectable civilization. Voyager as a transmitting object is relatively weak and undirected, but still measurable from extraordinary distances. Complementary research from Romero Saad at the University of Manchester furthers this idea. He explored the detectability of Earth's modern radio emissions, including mobile phone towers, in airport radar. According to his findings, cell tower signals could be detectable within 10 light years. Airport radar systems, due to their higher power and directional beams, could reach up to 200 light years. These emissions are not intended for space. They're part of our routine infrastructure, but they leak out nonetheless. That leakage forms a type of passive technosignature, a footprint of activity, not intention. The takeaway is that Earth has already been broadcasting its presence for nearly a century, not through deliberate messages, but through daily use of technology. And now, with tools like the Square Kilometer Array coming online in the next few years, our ability to detect similar emissions from elsewhere will increase dramatically. This repositions the strategy behind SETI. Rather than waiting for a direct message from a distant civilization, it may be more productive to search for the everyday electromagnetic noise that another society might inadvertently release. The practical implication of this research is that our planet is not as quiet as we once imagined. Whether we intend to or not, we've been announcing our presence to the galaxy through spacecraft transmissions, telecommunications infrastructure, and high-power radar. This visibility raises both scientific and philosophical questions. If we're visible, even faintly, to observers dozens or even hundreds of light years away, then we may already have been detected by others, assuming they're looking. From a research perspective, this strengthens the case for focusing SETI efforts on passive technosignature detection. For example, instead of scanning the sky for deliberate broadcasts, 
we could analyze specific star systems for narrowband radio emissions or signal patterns resembling Earth's leakage profile. Future observatories, such as the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, and the Next Generation VLA, will have the sensitivity needed to detect fainter and more distant signals. Coupled with machine learning tools to filter and classify anomalies, this opens up the possibility of identifying civilizations not by what they say, but simply by what they emit. At the same time, the detectability of Earth raises the question of whether we should continue broadcasting. Some scientists advocate for minimizing emissions or remaining radio quiet, fearing that contact might bring risk. Others argue that the genie is already out of the bottle. Between radar, satellites, and civilian infrastructure, our presence is already spreading across the stars. The Voyager study confirms that human-made signals can be detected far beyond our solar system. It provides a clearer picture of how far and long these signals might persist in space, even without intentional efforts to communicate. As we look deeper into the cosmic void, the realization dawns that every technological step we take radiates far beyond Earth's boundaries. Each signal, satellite ping, and burst of radar becomes a thread in an ever-expanding web of electromagnetic signatures surrounding our world. These unintended broadcasts are more than technical byproducts. They are timestamps in the galactic archive, hinting at the presence of an intelligent, technologically active civilization. The Voyager spacecraft, especially Voyager 1, serves not just as a relic of space exploration, but as a historical and scientific milestone. It represents humanity's first leap into interstellar space and provides a benchmark for evaluating the endurance and detectability of artificial signals. When viewed through the lens of astrophysics, Voyager is more than a Cold War era probe. It is a prototype interstellar beacon, its faint signal structured in a way that allows researchers to differentiate artificial transmissions from natural cosmic noise. This structure is key as it underscores the potential of detecting similar signatures elsewhere in the cosmos. The implications ripple across disciplines, guiding how radio astronomers tune instruments, how data scientists refine algorithms to sift through anomalies, and how astrobiologists frame questions about life and intelligence and their enduring imprints on the universe. A new concept gaining traction is the technosignature decay curve, which models how artificial signals degrade over time through interference, diffraction, and Doppler shifting. Voyager's longevity becomes a cornerstone in constructing these models, setting a known standard for low-power, long-lasting transmissions. But the question extends further. Can future cosmic archaeologists detect us? A civilization a thousand light-years away, observing Earth as it was a millennium ago, might not see our cities but could detect early radio broadcasts and radar pulses, provided they had the right tools and knew where to look. This is where the future of SETI merges with AI and machine learning. Instruments like the Square Kilometer Array and the Very Large Array will produce data on a staggering scale beyond human capacity to process. AI systems trained on signal patterns like Voyager's could detect faint or irregular techno signatures even inferring artificial origins from data anomalies. Meanwhile, optical SETI gains ground. Beyond radio, some researchers propose using high-powered lasers for interstellar communication. Earth may one day unintentionally broadcast optical signals via satellite propulsion or space mining lasers, future beacons to distant observers. Layered atop these technical aspects is the philosophical debate over messaging extraterrestrial intelligence, METI. Should we proactively transmit messages to the stars or remain radio silent? Advocates suggest intentional contact could accelerate discovery, while critics warn of unforeseen risks. But perhaps the debate is moot. Our radar, satellites, and daily transmissions have already lit a faint beacon in the cosmos. The deeper question may be, what does it mean to be seen in the universe? We've long wondered if someone's looking back. Now, with evidence that our electromagnetic footprint is spreading, we must consider that the mirror works both ways. Just as we might detect distant signals, someone might already be observing Earth's hum. This realization invites interdisciplinary collaboration. Historians, anthropologists, and technologists all offer perspectives on how civilizations, ours included, signal their presence. Engineers can estimate how long modern signals persist, 
while astronomers and philosophers consider the implications of discovery and contact. Proposals for active SETI include sending encoded digital messages to habitable exoplanets, introducing ourselves to unknown recipients. But without global consensus, such missions remain controversial. Meanwhile, passive listening, like the Voyager Signal Study, avoids these ethical dilemmas and still yields profound insights. As detection tools improve and AI helps sift through the data, we're growing more sensitive to low-power, long-distance signals. And in this search, we find that space is not silent. Every celestial object and technological artifact contributes to the galaxy's electromagnetic orchestra. Voyager helps us learn to listen. Emotionally and symbolically, Voyager is also more than a spacecraft. Its golden record, carrying sounds and images of Earth, reflects a human longing to connect, to be understood across vast distances. That record was meant not only for aliens, but for us. A message from ourselves, to ourselves, at the dawn of interstellar exploration. Every signal we emit, whether intentional or not, becomes part of a growing cosmic narrative. We are no longer isolated. We are participants in a galactic dialogue, even if no one has replied. As Voyager's faint heartbeat continues pulsing across space, it tells a story, not just of technological reach, but of curiosity, persistence, and our relentless drive to explore and connect. One day, perhaps, another world will detect a signal not unlike ours, structured, faint, and unmistakably artificial. And they, too, will ask, who sent this? What are they like? Are they still out there? Until then, we continue to listen and transmit. Because while silence may be safe, connection, however remote, is what truly defines us. Hit that subscribe button, share your thoughts below, and let's keep exploring the together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next.